Welcome to a true snippet by True Tornado. This snippet is regarding constitutional liberty or freedom. Definition. Constitutional liberty or freedom is defined as this. Such freedom as is enjoyed by the citizens of a country or state under the protection of its constitution. The aggregate of those personal, civil, and political rights of the individual, which are guaranteed by the constitution and secured against invasion by the government or any of its agencies. This is listed in Black's Law, 4th edition. So this is a law dictionary that contains constitutional liberty or freedom. When it states government, it is referring to three, all three branches, executive, legislative, and judicial branches, or any of its agencies. An example of the agencies of government would be the CDC, the CIA, the Department of Commerce, the Department of Education, the FBI, and the IRS. So none of those three branches of government, any of the people working in those branches and the people working for those agencies, none of them has any right to invade your constitutional liberty or freedom. Liberty definition. Liberty means freedom, exemption from extraneous control, the power of the will to follow the dictates of its unrestricted choice. And notice it says unrestricted choice. And you have a choice. We, the people, have a choice. And to direct the external acts of the individual without restraint, coercion, or control from other persons. So what would be an example of an external act? How about the medicine that you choose to inject into your body or not inject into your body? That would be an external act. So you have an unrestricted choice. That choice cannot be restricted. You also have a choice on the information that your children are taught or they're not taught. That cannot be restricted. You have the right to choose for your children. Looking deeper. Free means not subject to legal constraint of another, unconstrained, having power to follow the dictates of his own will. So your own will is your own decisions. As long as you are not bringing harm to someone else, like you couldn't go out and kill somebody because that's taking away somebody else's right. But if you're making decisions for your own self, your own family, your own children, then that cannot be legally constrained. It is not subject to the dominion of another, not compelled to involuntary servitude, used in the sense as opposed to slave. Freedom means the state of being free, liberty. So freedom and liberty mean the same thing. Self-determination. What does that mean? It means you can make decisions regarding yourself, regarding your own health, regarding how you're going to be educated, how your children are going to be educated. The absence of restraint, the opposite of slavery. These definitions came from a law dictionary, Black's Law, 4th edition. Constitutional examples. Here are two examples. We have 50 state constitutions, and all 50 state constitutions will have some wording regarding our right to liberty and freedom. The Kentucky Constitution Bill of Rights, Section 2, states, Absolute and arbitrary power over the lives, liberty, and property of free men exist nowhere. Let me emphasize this. It says, over the lives. It means they do not have power over your lives, your liberty, your property, nowhere in a republic. So anywhere within our 50 states, not even in the largest majority. The Georgia Constitution, Article 1, Section 1, Paragraph 1 states, no person, it didn't say some or this small group over here, it said no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property except by due process of law. And due process of law means it's an exercise of powers of the government as the settled maxims of law permit and sanction for the safeguards for the protection of individual rights. So due process of law is for the protection of our individual rights. We have not seen that within our current administration for the last two years. Maxims of law. 
Maxims of law are universally accepted fundamental principles of law. And these are from Charles Wiseman. 47a says, whenever the interpretation of liberty is doubtful, the answer should be on the side of liberty. Now, over the last, I don't know how many years, 20, 30 years, we have not necessarily seen this from our courts. We're starting to see a little bit more now, but uh, they should make their decisions on the side of liberty. 47H, natural liberty is the power of acting as one thinks fit without any restraint or control unless by the law of nature. 47B, liberty is that natural power of doing whatever one pleases except that which is restrained by law or force. And I'd like to point out something important here where it says restrained by law or force. The government cannot make any laws over our constitutional rights. They cannot do it. If they try to do it, it's null and void on its face. So they cannot write laws over our rights. 71a. The laws consist not in being read, but in being understood. Now, this is an important point. We have 50 state Bill of Rights or Declaration of Rights. If we do not read them, we will not know what they are. But even if we read them, we have to make sure we take the time to try and understand what they mean. Because if we do not know what they are, and if we do not understand them, then they can be removed from us. We will lose our constitutional rights. And that is what's been happening over these last two years. So it is critically important for all of us, we the people, to start reading our constitutional rights, your Bill of Rights, your Declaration of Rights. Take the time to read them. You can read all 50 state Bill of Rights and Declaration of Rights because they apply to all of us. Take the time to read them and try to understand them because you can't protect something that you have if you don't realize that you have it. So please take the time to read and learn and understand. I hope this has been helpful to you and I ask that you share it with others. Thank you.